How to file for a K-1 visa. If you are a U.S. citizen and are engaged to someone who lives in another country, they can travel to the U.S. to get married with a K-1 visa. As the U.S. citizen, you must file a petition with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS. Your fiancé will then apply for the K-1 visa in their home country. After they arrive in the U.S., you have 90 days to get married. Once married, your new spouse can apply for a green card to remain in the country. Filing your petition with USCIS. Download the petition and instructions. The USCIS provides Form I-129F on its website, along with instructions and a checklist of documents you'll need. These are PDF documents, so you'll need to have the latest version of Adobe Reader installed to view and fill out the form. You can download the form and instructions from the USCIS website at https colon slash slash www.uscis.gov slash i-129f. Read the instructions and look over the form itself before you start filling it out. Make sure you understand everything you'll need. If you have any questions or anticipate any difficulty getting everything together, consult an immigration lawyer. You can download the form and instructions from the USCIS website at https colon slash slash www.uscis.gov slash i-129f. Read the instructions and look over the form itself before you start filling it out. Make sure you understand everything you'll need. If you have any questions or anticipate any difficulty getting everything together, consult an immigration lawyer. Gather necessary documents to support the petition. The information you provide in the petition must be supported by original documentation from both you and your fiancé. These documents prove that your fiancé is eligible to travel to the U.S., and that the two of you are eligible to get married. These documents include birth certificates, passport-style photographs, divorce certificates if either of you were previously married, evidence that the two of you have met in person at least once in the past two years, and evidence of your intention to marry. A complete list of required documents is listed in the instructions to the petition, as well as on a checklist provided by USCIS. Some documents must be originals, while others should be photocopies. Don't send an original unless it is specifically requested, because it may be lost or destroyed. If you submit photocopies, keep the original documents together. You may be asked to provide them for inspection at any time during the process. These documents include birth certificates, passport-style photographs, divorce certificates if either of you were previously married, evidence that the two of you have met in person at least once in the past two years, and evidence of your intention to marry. A complete list of required documents is listed in the instructions to the petition, as well as on a checklist provided by USCIS. Some documents must be originals, while others should be photocopies. Don't send an original unless it is specifically requested, because it may be lost or destroyed. If you submit photocopies, keep the original documents together. You may be asked to provide them for inspection at any time during the process. Complete your petition. Following the instructions, provide the information required for the petition. Type or write neatly in blue or black ink, and answer all questions thoroughly. Type or print N.A. if the question does not apply to you, rather than leaving it blank. If you need more room to completely answer a question, use the space provided under additional information or attach blank sheets of paper. Clearly indicate which question and page number the information relates to and sign and date each sheet you add. If you need more room to completely answer a question, use the space provided under additional information or attach blank sheets of paper. Clearly indicate which question and page number the information relates to, and sign and date each sheet you add.